G'day guys and welcome to another edition of the Vemetrader release series. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Limit Take Profits. It is one of our most requested features and it is now here. So it's something that I personally am very excited for. In this video I'm going to explain to you guys the advantages and disadvantages of both Limit and Market Take Profits so that you can then make the choices in your trading of which one you're going to use. So what we'll do is we'll get started. Righto, so first things first, in this video, I'm not going to go too in depth on what limit orders and market orders are. If you do want that information, you can head to the article, I'll put a link in the description, where I have really tried to explain what they are um, as simply as I can. It does get, it's quite a long article because it's a bit of a complicated, so they're kind of, they're super easy once you get them, but getting them can take some time sometimes. So don't feel bad if you don't, if they don't quite make sense straight away. Hopefully the article can help you out with that. So, in this video, I'm essentially just going to cover what you need to know in Vemma. And that is kind of the beauty of Vemma, is you don't actually need to understand how limits work, how markets work, all the intricate details of each of them, because Vemma handles that for you. So let's start with a limit take profit. So first things first, to set a limit take profit, what you want to do is come to take profit, and then you will see a new execution type button. You can click between limit and market, and it is as simple as that. It will be applied across all of your take profits. Where a limit is advantageous is in two ways. Limit take profits have much lower fees than market take profits. And you can see that right now, the fee on the win is $39. If I switch to market take profits, my fee on win goes up to 97. So it is more than double. It is roughly you know, 2.5 times. The reason for that is BitMEX actually pays you for limit orders. When your limit orders fill, BitMEX will pay you. They offer a rebate on maker orders. Now, limit orders are almost always makers when they're set up right. In Vemma, limit orders will always be maker orders um, or take profit limits, certainly, will always be maker orders. They can be takers in, in very rare situations when on an exchange, they will not be as take profits in Vemma. So you will be paid a rebate for limits, for limit take profits on BitMEX. Market orders typically have much higher fees. Now, uh, OKX charges fees for both. On OKX, it is 0.02% for limit orders and 0.05% for market orders. Um, that may have changed, so you know, do go and check that yourself. And if you have, uh, there's ways to get discounts on fees, usually by holding an exchange's coin. So that may mean that your fees are slightly different to what I'm explaining here, but you know, the, the gist will be the same. Market orders will always be a higher fee order and limits will always be a lower fee or rebate. Uh, they, they can be the same in some cases. So Binance Spot, they are exactly the same. It is just 0.1%, I believe, um, regardless of whether you're using makers or takers, but usually exchanges will incentivize limit orders. And the reason for that is limit orders are essentially providing liquidity to an exchange. Uh, and that is something exchanges want to incentivize because they want lots of liquidity on their exchange. They want people to be there trading. So they try and incentivize you to place limit orders. Now, that doesn't really matter. Uh, I said I wasn't going to get into that stuff and I always do end up going off in tangents a little bit to get into it. But the gist of it is limits will give you a much lower fee. So again, from $97 for the markets, we drop down to $34.39. Uh, so, you know, a little bit better than half for the limit take profits. Now, the other advantage of limits is that they give you a guaranteed price. So you, you can see right now, I've got this limit at 18,000, I've got this one at 19,000. What that means is that order will only fill at 18,000. The market has to come to 18,000 and then continue buying at 18,000 until my position is filled. Now, Vemma will handle this slightly differently based on which take profit you are looking at in terms of how many take profits you have. So if price gets to your first take profit or any take profit that's not your final take profit, right? So in this case, we have two. Uh, let's, let's make that three. So if price was to get to either of our first two take profits here and then move away, so something like this, giving us a partial fill or no fill, Vemma will not touch that. So what, what would happen in that case is we're selling at 18,000, price gets to 18,000 and people do buy at 18,000, but they don't, they either don't fill that order at all because the order book is first in first served. So if there was, you know, 100,000 people 
um, if their sells before our sell and only 100,000 got traded, we're going to get none of our position sold. Or if there was you know, that 100,000 sells there and that 100,000 got bought and then you know half of our position got bought and then price moved away, we would get a partial fill. In both those cases, what Venmo will do is it will just give you a journal log saying, hey, your take profit price was hit and then it will just leave it at that because price may continue to head up. You know, it might head up, uh, it might get there, reject, and then come back. So we leave that up to you to deal with manually. If you know you see price get up there and it moves away, you can then close the position or you can just keep waiting. That's up to you. However, with your final take profit, what Venmo will do, will it will give that trade about a minute. It will give that trade about a minute, and if Vema sees that it still has not closed your position, so whether you've had a no fill or a partial fill at that price, the more then market close your trade. It will get you out of that trade. It will just execute a, a market close because it's saying, hey, your entire trade has now played out as you saw fit. We've given it some time for you to save on those fees and get your price. It hasn't happened, but we think you would rather be out of this trade now that that, now that, that price has been hit, so we'll close you out. So it's about a minute that it gives you before that will happen. Now, that is the gist of limited orders. So again, they have lower fees or rebates in some cases, as in, as in BitMEX, um, and they give you a guaranteed price. Now, market orders, as we've already seen, have a much higher fee. So that is a fairly big disadvantage, especially when scalping. Fees, fees become more prevalent when scalping because you are shooting for smaller moves. You have much bigger position sizes. So the fees eat into your profits and uh, add to your losses in a much larger way. The advantage that market take profits have is you do not get those no fill and partial fill scenarios. So if price was to get to 18,000 and then move away, what happens with a market take profit? So a market take profit is actually not a standard market order. And the reason for that is that a standard market order would just execute immediately. Because with a standard market, you are saying, hey, I don't care what price is, get me out of this position. So if I market sold you know, 100 uh, contracts right now, they would sell at the current price or at the best you know, limit buy price in the book. So what a market order is as a take profit is actually a stop market. Um, if you have been on exchanges and you've seen trigger, that's what this is, right? 18,000 will be your trigger price. So what you're saying is if price gets to 18,000, then market sell me out. Anyone who has um, done any sort of coding work or even, even spreadsheets, I use it a lot in spreadsheets, will be familiar with if-then statements. That's how I like to think of trigger orders because your trigger is the if. If price gets to 18,000, then market sell, then do this. So what that means is that markets are guaranteed to get, guaranteed with an apostrophe, uh, I'll get to that in a second, but guaranteed to get a fill because we don't have that risk of price getting to 18,000 and then moving away. If price gets to 18,000, the exchange will just market sell us out. So it will look and it will go, okay, there is you know all these limit buyers sitting here. It will market into those. Now, that introduces another risk, right? And that is slippage. So where the limits were getting us the guaranteed price at 18,000, but risking the no fills, markets get us a guaranteed fill but the risk they introduce is slippage. And what slippage is, is let's say that we're selling 100 contracts of Bitcoin at 18,000, or if price gets to 18,000, right? Because it's, it's our market take profit. When price gets to 18,000, that order is then triggered. But for our sell to fill, because we're in a long, so our take profits are sales, for our sell to fill, we have to have buyers to sell into. Now, if the orders in the book so let's say that there's limit orders. Uh, let's say that both of these are 50. The drawing tool is so good for pretty much everything but uh, text and numbers. But let's say that both of these are 50. For the exchange to fill our 100, to market sell our 100, it has to sell into these 50, which means that we will cop slippage because we set our trigger price to be at 18,000. But because of where the buys were when that was triggered, we won't actually get a fill until, let's say, like 17,500. So we will see slippage of, you know, 2.5%. That will reduce our profit. But the advantage is we were guaranteed to get that fill when that price was hit, when that 18,000 price was hit. Whereas with the limit, 
Price may have got to 18,000, moved away, come back and hit our stop loss. We would have never had a fill in that case. So that is really it, right? That is the advantages and disadvantages of limits and markets. Now, again, um, like, like I was saying with limits, if price, you know, partial or no fills on your first or second take profit, then we'll do nothing. But on your third, it will market close after it gives it some time to for that limit to fill. With the markets, that doesn't really matter because it just automatically markets. Markets and markets. There's really no difference between how the, the three take profits operate. So for a really quick recap, limits, the advantage is lower fees or even rebates in some cases and a guaranteed price, but the risk is not a guaranteed fill. Markets, the advantage is a guaranteed fill. Uh, oh, I did, I did have my apostrophe, right? So the only time that a market order will not fill is if there is literally just not enough liquidity in the book uh, for that to happen. So in this case, let's say that you know we were selling 100,000 Bitcoin. We're a big old whale. And let's say that the entire order book down to zero had 20,000 worth of buyers. Well, the exchange can't sell my 100,000 because there's just no one buying. So it would fill 20,000 of it and I would cop enormous slippage, you know, um, and then I would still have 80,000 in that position sitting. But that that would be so rare, right? You would have to have an enormously large position size or a super low liquidity coin or a combination of both for that to occur. So it's, it's extremely unlikely, but, you know, when I say guarantees, that's why I put the apostrophe on that for market orders. But, yeah, to cap off, the advantage, uh, the market orders, this is the summary, is guaranteed fill with my little apostrophe, but the risk they introduce is slippage and they also have much higher fees. So there you guys have it. That is the quick, short, sharp explanation. Uh, it wasn't as short and sharp as I would have liked, but it was a lot shorter and sharper than the original video that I recorded for this. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the new limit features. I know that there's scalpers who have been waiting for it. It is now here. So hopefully you guys are really excited because it does, it can completely make or break a strategy, right? Being able to use limit orders on scalping can be the difference between being profitable and not on a given strategy. So that's it from me. Have a great day, happy trading, and I will talk to you guys very soon.